Okay, so we're going to repair some strip threads. It's not that hard to do. Uh, this is a aluminum timing chain cover for a BMW. But everything's going to pretty much be the same. Steel, aluminum. Aluminum has a tendency after this is where the valve cover bolts on. It's been bolted all, off and on who knows how many times. And they're just small little bolts with fine threads that are real light torque and you know people have a tendency to over torque them and it strips them and then your valve cover won't seal well the world's not over they're easy enough to fix first thing you need to do is you need to buy yourself a kit most automotive places carry them and they give you an insert tool and a tap and the little inserts most of the time you have to buy the drill bit separate and it'll say on the box what size drill bit it is so you get your drill bit and get this stuff so first thing we're going to do is we're going to drill the hole um, the trick is you, you want to keep it real straight and clean and just drill the hole straight down as, as much as possible uh, try not to cock it don't go too deep like a lot of these as you can see the it's not doesn't go all the way through so you don't want to go too deep with it um, but at any rate take note where you're at drill slowly and uh, do that so we're gonna go ahead and drill the hole first and then we'll see what's next to it so we got our hole drilled uh, one thing too, if you're doing it on a part that's already attached to the car and like shavings could fall down inside something, uh, if you put some grease on your drill bit, it will attach a lot of the shavings and keep the shavings from falling down inside. If it's a part that, you know, you don't want the pieces falling down, the shavings falling down in your block. So next thing we got to do is they give you a tap and we got to run a tap in there. Now they make handles for them. You know, if you don't have a handle, you can put a little wrench on there. But you just got to be careful that you're going in straight. You start it straight. You don't want to be cocked at all. So, you know, it's important that you hold it really straight. So, we're going to go ahead and run the tap down inside there. And we'll see what the next thing is. So, we got our hole tapped. Um couple other things too like when you run the tap in there if you're doing steel put a little bit of oil cutting oil preferably um, aluminum you can also do the thing, same thing it can help you tap it a little bit easier and a lot of times the tap will start to bind a little bit and if you just back it out go forward back it out and go forward be easy with it and keep working at it don't just force it in there and make sure you don't go too deep so the last thing is we got this tool here and we got these inserts and you can see how one end of the insert has a thing on it the tool has a slot in it so you just slide the uh, insert over the tool so it fits down the slot and then you sit merely turn it in um, so anyway we're going to go ahead and turn that in and then we'll take a look and see how it works out so the inserts in there screws in pretty easy uh, one thing take note make sure the first time you drill it deep enough that it, you can run it in flush because you can't get them back out they're designed to stay in uh, so whenever you loosen the screw up they won't come out that's the whole idea of it uh, anyway you have to be careful you know you do it right the first time but now you have a nice steel liner and a aluminum piece that won't strip out so I hope this helps somebody you know simple enough to do just takes a little bit of patience and if you'd like you know we have a lot of videos for BMWs and other things so you know take your time look around the site subscribe and see if there's anything else that can help you